<clears throat> what is up, people of the world? It's me, Ganox Swimmer, aka AP3 Jumped, and uh, today I'm doing something. Uh, uh, it's uh, my comb. Anyway, uh, if I fell around that turn of it, it's gonna be too annoying. But today I'm doing something a little different. Um, cause yeah, Nickelodeon uh, surprised me today. They decided to upload a full preview for the new series, The Casa Grandes. And, um, so, yeah, I don't know if it's the episode that's scheduled to premiere on October 14th, but either way, we saw our first full episodes of The Casa Grandes today. So, uh, I'm going to tell you what I thought of it. And, yeah, here we go. You know, I considered holding off until this sh this episode actually gets broadcast on television, but I decided to talk about this today because today is actually the two-year anniversary of me doing reviews. And the first thing, my very first review for anything was for the Loud House episode Future Tense, which... Um, ironically enough, that episode also got leaked earlier than it was supposed to be broadcast. But this episode I'm talking about today is getting released early, officially. So, yeah, that's, that's the difference between now and then. So, I wasn't sure what I was going to do for this little two-year anniversary, but now I do. I now have something to review for today, actually. <laughs> So, episode begins with the family inside the Casa Grande household in their, um, in their apartment complex, and, uh, I'm gonna try to breeze by the, I'm gonna try to, um, I'm not going to spend too long on the plot synopsis, but I'll give it my best shot. So, uh, at one point, Ronnie Ann shows up, and, uh, Fast forward to when she's sleeping, and uh, someone stole her skateboard, and it turns out uh, it's actually it's actually her uncle Carlos, who apparently was a skateboarding legend back in the day. He was known as uh, Carlos X, I believe, and and Ronnie Ann is just completely enamored by that. And, uh, so, she gets him, she gets him to teach her some skate, new skateboarding moves and techniques, and so they try to do this late at night, but the thing, the thing of it is, um, Carlos quit skateboarding because he, uh, he had kids with his wife Frida, and, uh, Frida made him promise to, he made him promise to never skateboard ever again, and so... Alright, so there's, this is some interesting background and, uh, interesting, um, plot so far. And, so that's why they have to, that's why they have to sneak out at night <clears throat> in order for Carlos to teach her. But, unfortunately, this actually, <clears throat> Milo, Mur uh, uh, not Milo, Mur <laughs> just regular old Murphy's Law um, uh, gets the best of these two, and, well, actually, that was, that, that, it's only happened in some Wild House episodes, not, uh, maybe I'm being a little too, <laughs> too over, that's a bit too much of an exaggerated example, but something inevitably goes wrong, like it does in these shows, <laughs> for the character, because Carl injures himself, and that's, that's the exact reason why Fredo would, made him promise to never skateboard again, because he might injure himself again, and, uh, so they have to hide, so they have to keep that a secret, and I forget what it is called that, I forget the little, like, event that Frida had, that Frida, um, has Carlos go to, because she's, Oh, she's opening something at her art gallery, or something like that. 
So uh, last last time Carlos was there to show something off at the so to show off a new product, he was actually just sleeping in a what was it a marshmallow pillow or something? It was either made of marshmallows or it felt like you or it felt like you were sleeping on marshmallows. It was one of those two things. So had I as an audience member knew it wasn't going to be that easy, but Ronnie and Carlos thought, yeah, maybe it won't be so bad this time again. Just like the last time. And uh, like I said, I knew something was going to go wrong, but I wasn't sh I wasn't exactly sure what. <laughs> Turns out, Frida is, she shows off this, like, this giant calculator into which, like, it's like this giant old-fashioned looking calculator to which, like, the buttons are, like, little trampolines. And Carlos has to demonstrate that that the giant calculator is functional. And so he has to jump from button to button in order to do math equations. And uh, this ultimately backfires, and uh, he falls over, and uh, his leg injury is revealed. And that, well, it's actually just his foot, not his whole leg. Maybe it was just his ankle. I'm not sure. Because earlier when he sh uh, earlier in the episode when he his he showed his leg being broken he showed his entire leg like it was floating around like a damn pool noodle and <laughs> yeah anyway um Fred's uh, is upstandingly uh, understandably upset about this and uh, <clears throat> both uh, Ronnie and Carlos come clean. And, uh, there's some, yeah, there's some real, uh, there's some real character growth, and they're, they learned their lesson in a, in a good way. And, uh, there was a, I mean, there was a good lesson. So, I mean, for, a lesson for the, us, the, me, me, us as the audience members. So... Anyway, after that happened, uh, there's this one guy, I think his name is, uh, uh, I think his name is Romeo, or something like that, and, um, he actually comes up to Frida and Carlos, and, but it turns out he, uh, because earlier, during the, the demonstration of the, cal of the giant calculator with trampolines as buttons, <laughs> yeah, I'd like to see something like that in real life, it turns out he, he, he recognized him. And then he, th that's why he approached them, and, uh, Car uh, uh, because the Romeo heard everything that happened, and, uh, he was, he was able to, he was able to tell Carlos that he was a huge fan of his back in the day, and he had tattoos of him, or whatever, he had a tattoo of his name, of his old name, uh, alias Carlos X on his arm, and, yeah, that's how he recognized him, and... I mean, of course, I knew that upon him say. I, I had a feeling he. I, I. I had a feeling he recognized him upon him saying that earlier. But. Yeah, that's. Oh, there's one more thing. After that, uh. Uh, Romeo, he is actually skateboarding with Ronnie Ann, and he's. Uh, Carlos is trying to teach them that same trick that he was trying to do with, uh. <clears throat> with Ronnie Ann, where they're like swapping their skateboards. I'm pretty sure that's how Carlos broke his leg. And sure enough, that's how Romeo broke his leg too, and and uh, his leg is now noodly too. So, yeah, and the episode ends. So, I want to say, um, I don't know. I don't know if this is like I said. I don't know if this is going to be the first episode that's going to premiere. If it's going to be the premiere episode for the Casa Grandes, I don't think it is. Like I checked on the wiki, because there's actually a Casa Grandes wiki now. Uh, if you guys didn't know, so yeah, check that out if you want if you want to learn about the show. But you know, regardless, yeah, like I said earlier, this is technically uh, our first our first full episode glimpse for the series. But this actually didn't have an intro or credits, and uh, people have shared the intro online but I on Twitter but I didn't watch it because I want to be surprised and I want to wait till it actually premieres on TV before I see the intro but that's just me but this episode it was 
for me, it was a great introduction to the Casa Grande series. I mean, it's basically what it is, like I said. And, um, you know, put simply, I cannot wait for the Casa Grande's series to premiere in October. Because, yeah, it's going to be a blast. And um, I can't wait to see... I can't wait to see what Ronnie's new adventures, all the rest of her family's adventures in in Great Lake City are going to be like. So, yeah, I'm definitely looking forward to that. So, if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe, like the video, like the and ring the and ring the bell to be notified of future videos I make. And let me know what you let me know what you guys thought of this preview in uh, in the comment section below. My mouth is so damn dry. I need to get some water. I'm, I'm Went to, to get more just now, and turns out my cup is empty. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, and, uh, let me know what you thought of this episode in the comments below. And uh, I turns out it does. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what the name of it is because they don't have the title of the episode in the in the damn in the damn video description. Because, like I said, there's no intro. So, there was no intro or, cre or credits or anything, so I haven't tried to look it up on go going on the wikis to see what this episode is called, and so, yeah, I don't even know the name of the episode I'm reviewing, so I don't know what I'm going to title this video. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, and stay tuned for uh, uh, my little Pony Friendship and Magic reviews, obviously, and, um... Yeah, and also stay tuned for an October 2019 update. So, yeah. Once again, I'm Alex Swimmer, a.k.a. ap 3 Jumped. Thank you so much for watching until the, until the end. That's it for me, and I will see you soon. Goodbye. Or adios, I should say.